Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Grand Auto 5 Mods video. Today we'll be playing as firefighters with the Polito Bay Fire Department using rescue number 57, which is an E1 chassis fire truck. And someone has been leaving a lot of comments asking me to use the E1 rescue again. Um, for some reason, I don't know what's far with the account. It won't let me reply to your comment, but I see your comment. I read your comment, and here is the video. If you guys have any other suggestions, make sure you leave a comment. And anyway, guys, we're going to be using fire callouts. We are on the beta, and there's a new feature I want to show you guys. Something new that we have to use. And it is right over here. I forgot what button it is because I haven't played in a little while. There it goes. So we now have airbags, guys. So if we have to lift up a vehicle for any reason, for extrications, or if someone's stuck under a vehicle, penned, anything like that, we now have airbags and we can lift them up or we can use it to stabilize them. It's pretty cool if you guys know how to use them in real life or what type of scenarios you would use them for. I am curious to learn. I know a lot of firefighters do watch my videos, so if you guys do know, leave a comment down below in the video description i always love to learn new things well anyway let's go ahead and get this episode started uh we're going to try to respond to some more rescue style call outs and let's see if we can help some people up here in Polito bay all right we're going to report of our first call looks to be a single vehicle accident possible entrapment on great ocean highway we're going to respond to that. Okay, change of plans. We're going to reroute it to a different location. Looks like it's going to be just north of Polito Bay. Oh, we got a car upside down, guys. All right, we got a rolled over vehicle. I got to see how I can get in there. I think I missed my turn. All right, so it looks like we have a car on its side. Not sure how many people are inside this one. So panels actually rewrote the call out. So now there's a lot of different options. There could be more than one person inside. The vehicle could be basically anywhere. It looks like it's going to be upside down. Occupy times one. Let's get our equipment and gear on. Okay, so we're not going to use airbags on this one since I'm not even going to be able to lift it up properly anyway, but let's start with the stabilizer struts. We'll put that down. And now let's grab the generator and our uh, uh, spreaders. Now what I'll do is, I don't think this would be the, call, the type of call to use the... Um, airbags on but I'll just show you guys how it works once we get the patient out all right we'll turn that on get that connected and we'll start trying to cut them out get this thing opened up and let's start cutting Oh, I thought there was more than one person in there. I got confused for a second. I was like, what? Alright, let's see if we can get them out. Let me also grab a medic bag. 
And we're gonna need an ambulance here to our location. Set that down right there. I'm gonna try to carefully get him out. We have one male. Right now he's unconscious. We're gonna start CPR. And uh, looks like he's coming back. We're gonna do a quick assessment on him as we wait for EMS to get here. Alright, he has a broken leg. He's in severe pain. So let's go ahead and splint the leg. And we'll give him some painkillers to help manage all of the pain he's feeling. And let's just do a quick vital check as well. His airway is good. He has shallow breathing, so we're going to also add oxygen. Alright, and he should be stable now. Patient is stable, perfect. We'll uh, request an ambulance. Okay, sir, you're looking much better. I know you're in a lot of pain. Uh, the ambulance is almost here, and they're going to get you to the hospital as soon as possible to try to get you better, okay? Uh, sounds like the ambulance is on the beach somewhere, so let me see if I can just. There we go. Okay, EMS is on scene. They're going to be treating him. Or transporting him, I should say. And that was good. Now, let's see how those airbags work. Um, maybe we should flip the car over first. And I'll show you guys how the airbag system works. Alright, so let's see if we could winch this. I don't. Oh, nope. Oh, you know why? I know why. The stabilizers make it frozen? Nope. Not, I don't know. It's probably still frozen. Let me check. Yep. Okay. So now let's try to winch it. Let's see if we can get this thing flipped over. Alright, so we got it flipped over. Um, let's, let's mess around with the struts. I mean, not the struts, with the airbag. I just want to kind of show you guys how this all works. So we're going to place these under the vehicle. Airbags are being deployed. And yes. Yeah, it's pretty much under there. So now what we can do is use the arrows to lift up. But this would definitely be good if we had, like, say, a person stuck underneath the vehicle, or if we had to just lift the vehicle for whatever reason. Very, very cool. And again, this is all from the beta of fire callouts. Uh, Panos is working on link down below and shout outs to um, Candace too. She did a lot of the work with the um, I believe the models she made these for the game which are pretty cool These airbags and stuff. So very very cool. Uh, let's go ahead and sit it back down And uh, we'll get a tow truck to come get it Alright, tow truck is here. Looks like the airbags already went back, so dispatch, you can show us back in service. Uh, 
always laugh in these videos. My team just be chilling inside of the uh, cab the whole time. No one wants to help. That's fine. Alright guys, we're getting a second call. This one looks to be a multiple vehicle collision, multiple people trapped. Just, uh, looks like it's gonna be on the beach right now, the station. So it looks like we have a two-car motor vehicle accident. It's gonna just stop traffic. And let's just start grabbing our gear from now. So I'm going to start off with the let's do the generator first. Oh man. Two very badly damaged vehicles. Uh, it said multiple. I know normally this call is three, but like I was saying, Panos did um, recreate the logic, so everything's random. It looks like it's just going to be two cars this time. I have two people, one in each. Alright, let's get to work. Out. Let's get the second guy out. I wonder what was happening. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess maybe street racing. What do you guys think? These are two fast cars. Engine's still running too. I gotta actually turn that off. All right, almost got it. Come on, come on. Got to fight with these things sometimes. All right, so we got that. Go ahead and uh, turn this off for now, disconnect that, and I might as well just set it back in the truck. Alright, so let's request an ambulance. ambulance. Assistance required in Bay. I'm gonna work on getting these two out of the vehicle. I always feel bad how I dropped them. Check on the second guy. Uh, 
Oh man, no, 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 this guy didn't make it. Alright, I got one up. This guy didn't make it. You guys can take a second look at him for me. They were both involved in a motor vehicle accident here. Alright, they got the first guy. I guess we could start calling some tow trucks for these things. Alright, let's see if they can save this guy. I really don't want to lose nobody. We might be too late. I hope not. Come on, guys, don't give up. These are the experts here, the paramedics. Let's see if they can work some magic. Oh man, that didn't work. We did all we could. Well, that's really unfortunate, guys. Looks like we have a that was depressing. a fatality here. I'm gonna I'm gonna try one more time. Man. I hate to give up. We're gonna try again. Don't run over his head, please. That was close. Come on, man. Oh, he's alive. Yes, third time's the charm, guys. We didn't give up. I always try to think like, what if it's my family, and I would want everybody to try as much as they can. I know. Eventually, it's only so much we can do, but we got him up. Um, let's get another ambulance out here for him. I'm so happy he came to. Let's do a quick injury assessment while we wait for EMS to get through traffic. So he has a broken leg, splint, bandage, and painkillers. Okay, we will do that. Okay, he is stable for transport. Perfect. So once the ambulance figures out how to get through the traffic, they will be able to take him. Looks like they, uh, uh, did they get it? Yep, they got it. <laughs> I'm about to leave my generator. Alright, Heavy Rescue 57 is going to be back in service. Glad we was able to save that person back there. So as far as what else is new with fire callouts, or at least the beta, there is another new call we have to try out, which is a high-rise rescue. Um, basically, it's like, uh, you know those window washers, like when they're working on the skyscrapers, or just buildings in general. Sometimes something fails and they have to be rescued. You see them dangling on the side of the building. So that is a new callout. I have not tried it yet. I'm very excited to try it out. Um, if you guys would like to see that video, let me know by leaving a comment. That's something you guys would like to see. I think I may do it next, but let me know. Uh, sounds like our alarm is still going off at the station. That's probably because I've been forcing so many calls. Uh, okay, let's not go back to the station for now. truck needs a wash we need to go clean this look at our tires oh boy that is not good at all let's go ahead and see if we can clean this up a bit 
All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Also, hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we post a new video. And if you guys would like to download any of the mods I am using, you can find them linked down below in the video description as well as tutorials on how to install them you can find that all on my website acepilot2k7.com you'll find the mods i use tutorials you'll find merchandise i also have a program called ascriber if you become an ascriber that gives you access to watch videos before i post them you also get to watch some exclusive videos that are only on my website and you get to watch some behind the scenes videos which are only on my website it looks like we got a call uh, right over here somewhere so <laughs> let's take in this last call guys they're sending the rescue truck to a trash fire we're the only unit available hopefully we can put it out with an extinguisher there it is it's right next to the hydrant too You know what would be a cool prop if cans, if you're listening? If you could find like a water can, that would be cool. We could have like a water can, we could do some can jobs, that would be really cool. But um, looks like I pissed off the locals, I got some red dots running at me. So um, we're going to go ahead and get out of here guys. Thank you so much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace! This is why I'm strapped.